Hello guys, welcome to the Music Empire. Here is where we spread the gospel of, of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the gift he has given us, through the talent he has given us. And in today's lesson, we want to take a look at this uh, special 13th chord that I normally use from the 4 to the 3. Okay, and it really spices up whatever I'm doing. Yeah, I want to take a look at uh, that chord, see how we can apply it in uh, gospel music as well. Yes, so we are, we are basically coming to do three things very quick. We will learn the chord itself and then we will transfer it or see how we can play the same chord in other keys. And then the most important part, of, of course, is learning how to apply this chord in a couple of gospel music that we all know okay so quickly let's get started so i want us to be in the key of c as we learn this chord then we will take it to some few keys as well yeah so it's it's a 13th chord on the four to your three right i told you the progression is from a four to a three so it's like it sounds like this uh, so there's a chord yeah this movement it has this peculiar melody. Da, da, da. See? So, like I said, from the four to the three, right? So, so that's how I play it. Okay. Yeah, very good. So let's take a look at the chord itself. Uh, I can even come here. Yeah. Uh, we have. We are in the key of C, so I have the flat three, six, and two. Okay, flat three, six, and then two over the four bass notes on my left. Uh, we are not doing rootless chord, uh, rootless voices. So this is the four. Okay, yeah, to the three. Remember the melody is what? Da, da, da. So on the three, on the three, the chord I have is the two. Five flat seven. Okay, so this is a G minor chord. Okay, G minor chord over three. So this is the four. So this is an F thirteenth chord to the G minor chord. That's your fa to the mi. Then you can add your la, re, so do or anything of that sort. Yeah, I'm giving you the fa mi. Then we will put it in songs. Okay. Now once again, I also want to remind you this is. The, the full theory behind why this is a 13th chord and why I'm even using it in the key of C over the 4 is fully explained in, the, in our contemporary gospel course as well. So if you have checked that out, you can take a look at the altered chord section and then you find the details over there. If you haven't gotten your contemporary gospel course, I would advise you to visit musicempire.com and do so. It will really help you. It will really help with your... your it will really help you with your music journey as well. Okay, so let's continue. So then you can just add your six to the two, to the five, to the one, like any any combination that you want to do. Okay. So imagine we are to play this in the key of C sharp. Now we have started transferring it to a few keys, not all the keys, a few keys. Then from there, we will now learn its application in songs. Okay. So in the key of C sharp, it will sound like So I'm mostly applying this from the 4 to the 3 to the 6 to the 2, 5, 1, right? Then let's say in the key of F, it will be, okay, so in the key of F, this is how it will look like, hmm? So you can quickly watch, you can pause the video and watch, see, so da, da, this note always is played alone, right? Okay. This is your three in the key of F, so right. Then let's see F sharp. So so in the key of F sharp. This is how it will look like. Yeah, sometimes I like adding this one. Yeah, take a look at it well. 
from my from from what I'm playing, you can easily pause and then learn it. To so the three, okay? Then you add your six to the five to the one, okay? Then uh, let's say uh, last key, let's say A flat. Okay, then. So in the A flat, it will go like, okay, so look at it, that's a 4, so it's like 2, 1, then 2, 3, I can also do this, okay. So it's just what we learned in C, yeah, sometimes I like adding the 5 to it, so it will be like flat 3, 5, 6, 2, okay. Please be a serial student and then transfer the rest of the chords, like transfer these chords to the rest of the keys. Otherwise, the lesson will prolong too much. Now, the most important part, let's get to application using very common gospel songs that we know. I'll be using what we call foreign gospels and then our own local gospels as well. Okay. So, the first song I want to use on my list is um, Praise the Lord So. That's the progression I'm playing, right? Then it comes again. Before we go to the B, because it's good. So begin. Let, let's let's take a look at the beginning. So like. Uh, Lord, you see, so um, what, what did I do there? Let, let's take it again. So, right then, so the praise the Lord that's where the chain comes. So, like the praise, he, now you go to the Lord. So, from the praise, he, I want to show you the exact timing where you can apply this. So, like the praise, the he, the he good. The Lord, you see, so uh, like the praise the Lord Jesus Christ. My singing is very terrible, you see. So uh, then go to the, then go to your six. I think we have done this six before on this channel, so you can learn this six. This six, so you go like uh, six, then to the two, okay, then to the five. So, the one. We have done all these chords on this channel. So, let's go again. Over here, for instance, we see okay. And also, a song like Hallelujah. Let's go to this app and do this one. I want us to be very diverse with the keys, okay? So, then. then, uh, Hallelujah, right? Then. So I'm coming to apply it there.
So hallelujah. Instead of going to the Latino, you can do uh, hallelujah. You see, so the same movement, you see. Right? We did this. I think the sound is most important over here. The sound is important like that. Da, da, da. Now let, let's do another one in the F. But I don't let you use uh, uh, I, I don't even know. I don't know. When I come and sit by a keyboard and I forget my songs. I just don't know why. Okay. Uh, I, I think this one is just for song learning. The songs are just references that we are using. So, like that. The right, so that song, so to me, so like, you can go like. Uh, So like uh, to me, chords that I'm playing. If you want to really understand what I'm doing over here, get the contemporary chords. Now, if you already have the contemporary chords, take your time and study all those plenty videos that you see, especially with the theory part, learn the theory part, and then the part to come and learn its applications. And it will really help you because that's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm not, I'm not doing anything outside that course. That's why I keep talking about it and I keep talking about it. Yeah, so just an application of that's why I keep saying that these lessons are just an extension of what has been taught in the contemporary course, okay? Yes. So, I'm just flowing with the, 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 the knowledge I know. That's all. And I want to remind you that our praise course will be released this coming few days. Our praise course is almost ready to be released this coming few days. So, please anticipate and get ready, okay? When it comes, just visit musicempire.com. I don't even know when you'll be watching this lesson. I'm sure by the time maybe some of you will watch this lesson. The previous course has always been has been released. That's why you always have to make it a habit of visiting our website to check what's going on there. Okay. And please subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notifications. And the most important thing, please share on your social media platforms. Just copy the link. Share on your social media platforms for others to be blessed. Yes. One thing that's uh, the Bible teaches us it's not for us to be selfish okay the Bible says we should give and shall be given unto us so as I've given to you give to others by sharing okay you're yes, sharing it on your social media platforms so that others will be blessed we are spreading remember we are spreading the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ through the talent he has given us yes so all instrumentalists have to get to know of this channel yes so that everybody will be a blessing okay Let's meet in our next next lesson.